Let's talk about knee osteoarthritis. This presentation is focused on the following areas. Definition of knee osteoarthritis. Data on incidence and prevalence. Causes or risk factors of knee osteoarthritis. Symptoms of knee osteoarthritis. Diagnosis, prevention, and physiotherapy management. Before we come to the definition, let's look at the anatomy of the human knee. So the human knee is a complex joint made up of the femur bone and the tibia bone. And the joint is held firmly by numerous ligaments and separated by a cushion known as cartilage or meniscus. How can we determine an unhealthy knee joint and a healthy knee joint? Just look at the image on the screen. It is more obvious we are seeing osteoarthritic knee. So what then is osteoarthritic knee? Definition of knee osteoarthritis The knee joint is formed by a thigh bone and the leg bone. This joint is separated by a soft band tissue called articular cartilage. This cartilage provides cushion to the joints preventing bone to bone contact. It is also serving as a shock absorber and takes pressure off the knee joint during activities. It also provides nourishment to the joint, making the joints lubricant and mobile. A knee osteoarthritis occurs when the articular cartilage undergoes wear and tear. Thus, the cartilage degenerates, leaving a raw bony surface on the two bones that form the knee joint. This triggers severe knee pains to the victims. Usually, the degeneration of the articular cartilage is progressive thus worsens over time and it is very common among the aged. Clearly, this is the difference between healthy knee joints and a knee joint with osteoarthritis. So, A represents the healthy knee joint and B represents the osteoarthritic knee. Let's look at the epidemiology. Osteoarthritis is the most common disease of the joints worldwide with the knee joint being the most commonly affected joint in the body. That according to Michael J.W. Ita 2010, it mainly affects people over the age of 45. OA affects nearly 6% of adult population and women are more commonly affected than men. According to Michael J.W. Ita 2010, amongst those older than 70 years of age, the prevalence rises to as high as 40% and this prevalence will continue to increase as life expectancy and obesity rises. Just in 2017 alone, the age standardized prevalence estimates were highest in the United States at 6,128.1 per 100,000 people. American Samoa 5,281 and Kuwait 5,234 0.6. The estimates were lowest for Taiwan, which was 2,090.3, North Korea 2,290.7, and Madagascar 2,353.5. Researchers say the problem represents public health challenge and how it is essential that prevention measures, management, and treatment of OA are given priority. Data suggests that there are two main types of osteoarthritis, primary osteoarthritis and secondary osteoarthritis. Any osteoarthritis that would not have any etiological trace may be regarded as primary osteoarthritis. However, if the osteoarthritis is caused by an underlying condition, then it will be referred to as secondary osteoarthritis. In a more detailed description, note that the cause of knee osteoarthritis can be explained depending on the cause being primary or secondary. In the primary osteoarthritis, the articular cartilage degeneration is without known reason. Often, it is due to aging and wear and tear. The secondary can be linked to a known problem. Mostly could be obesity, joint hypermobility or instability, malpositioning of joints, example, vagus and virus deformity. Previous injury to the knee joint, example, fracture along articular surface of the knee, congenital defects, immobilization and loss of mobility, family history, metabolic causes, example, rickets. Clinically, a person with knee osteoarthritis is likely to show the following symptoms pain in the knee joint upon movement, morning stiffness, loss of range of motion in the knee joint, warmth to touch, 
pain after prolonged sitting or lying, pain on joints per patient, joint enlargements and crepitus. Diagnostic procedures may involve X-ray, MRI and arthroscopy. Radiographic findings may involve joint space narrowing, osteophyte formation, subchondral sclerosis, subchondral cyst, and unequal joint space narrowing. This is an X-ray of an osteoarthritic knee, and some of the radiographic findings explained earlier can be traced in this image. So clearly, we can see that there is reduced joint space, clearly on the AP and to posterior view. However, there is also an osteophyte formation, which is more evident on the lateral view. And also, the anterior posterior view also depicts an unequal joint space narrowing. More importantly, let's look at treatment or management of knee osteoarthritis. The management can be conservative or surgical management. Initial treatment commences with conservative management and surgery becomes the second option when conservative management fails. The primary treatment for knee osteoarthritis conservatively is exercise therapy within physiotherapy. According to Collins NJ Hart HF Mels KA 2019, physiotherapy management involves patient education, for example, general knowledge about the condition and advice on weight loss, exercise therapy, activity modification, knee bracing. Main physiotherapy techniques involve exercise therapy, for example, quadricep strengthening using cross sets, knee room exercise using cycling, staircase, mini squats, gentle knee mobilization, patellar mobilization, hydrotherapy using a pool, taping, massage therapy, brazing, electrotherapy that's using electrical muscle stimulation to improve quadricep strength, tense for pain reduction. For pain management, we can also use other modalities such as cold and heat therapy. Some of the protocols described in the previous scenes are demonstrated pictorially in the following scenes. Kindly subscribe to this channel if you are a new member and don't forget to put on your notification bell to enable you get fees on new videos released on this particular channel every time. Bye.